everybody, it's Starla with ExpressionsVinyl.com and we are doing another Vinyl Friday. Um, while we wait for people to get on, um, just we want people to watch this, we are still doing our trick or treat. Um, we, we've been doing it all month long. It's our, I don't even know what the word would be. It's our deal of the month. We've been doing trick or treat. So every order that you place, you'll either get tricked or treated. Beware some of the tricks are spiders. So if you get a spider in your order, don't freak out and we're sorry. <laughs> but they're fun little spiders. And then sometimes they're good vinyl, sometimes it's candy if you get treated. And that is still going on till Halloween, so through Halloween. So keep your orders coming. We also have our awesome offer right now is $20 off any purchase at $60 or more. Um, that's before shipping or if you order, if you come in the storefront, the same deal applies. It's just before tax. So spend, if you're at 40, you might as well spend 20 more because you're going to get 20 off anyway. So get it on your cart. And the code for that is Halloween 18 and the offer expires Monday midnight. So, so get your orders going. So where's everybody from? Do we have anybody? We've got some from North Carolina, first time viewer. Um, Texas, Los Angeles. I'd rather be in any of those places right now because it's getting cold here. Texas and LA. Awesome. You'll have to let us know who got tricked or treated and send yes. us pictures because it's been fun to see the tricks and treats. And go see our Instagram post that's up because there's some pretty good scared spider ones. They're pretty good. There's some more from Kentucky, Tennessee, North Carolina, Michigan. We're all over the place. Alabama. Sweet. Well, thanks for watching. Um, we'll go ahead and get started. Keep asking questions if you have any questions. Go right ahead. Um, just ask them and Joanne will. We'll try to get to them all. If we don't, we will definitely answer them afterward. Yes. Okay, so what we're going to talk about today um, is putting vinyl on a curved surface. So I'm just going to work with mugs. And mugs come either straight, curved, then they decide to add a curve with like a square shape and then they get huge. And then there's just some ridiculous ones. Like I was in the dollar store last night looking at them and they have ones that go like this. We're just gonna avoid those because honestly, ain't nobody got time for that. No, nobody got time for that. So we're just gonna talk about how to put it on. It's really simple. I mean, it's so easy to do. Ceramic is great for permanent vinyl, um, but there's a lot of tips and tricks that you can do. So if you've never done it before and you stick it on, it's okay, it's easy to do. But I'm going to show you some tips and tricks. So we will just move these guys out of the way. So this is your standard coffee mug or hot chocolate mug, whatever your preference. Super easy. I mean, it's smooth. There's no curves. Um, so we have, I've just got two different types today. We've got glitter adhesive vinyl, and this is actually Caesar's PSV glitter purple. And we have a new color which is our bright green opal. And it is super cool and it's very green. So with that deal going on right now, this is a cool Halloween color. Get it in your order. And I mean, it's in Christmas, it'd be cool for Christmas. So what I'm just gonna do, I know that these are both gonna stick. I know it. it's smooth, they're permanent, they're water resistant. It's gonna work on that. But the tip for that is you can use something like these neck pillows. They've got the little, I don't even know what those are called, little beads in them. So they kind of warp to however you want them. So then when you go to put your, I don't know if you can see that. It's nice, you can kind of conform it. Maybe that's the center, you know, work with it a little bit. Put your transfer tape on. I put these little lines when I'm doing this because it just gives me a better visual. It doesn't do much. It's totally just so your eyes can see where the center is. So for something straight like that, it's super easy. Put your transfer tape on and go. So should we go ahead and do this one? Yeah, let's go ahead. Okay. So I'm gonna do the opal because I have a lot more opal and I know that the glitter will stick no matter what. So I like to use the paper transfer tape. The only downfall with this is you can't see through it, but for one layer, it's not bad. Actually, I'm gonna turn this this way so I'm not wasting a bunch. Okay, has anybody ever, like, has nobody um, done mugs? 
people are liking the neck pillow idea. Um, then other someone else said, no need for a neck pillow when you've got thick thighs that work just as well. Yes, I do that too. <laughs> just from right between, yep. It's just, you know, just, just caught yeah. <laughs> But, but yes, I have done that too. Or even just a pillow. Like we couldn't find this when we were getting ready. And we were just gonna use a pillow, but then Joanne found it under our bunnies. Under our bunnies. Or use a stuffed the animal bunny. Were hiding over there, so we found the pillow. Stuffed animal would probably be fine. Okay, so this is gonna be a little awkward because I'm working backwards. So this is just holding it in place, and I've got my alignment lines. Some people will take transfer tape, and they will just wrap it around to hold it in place like that. Totally, totally can do that. What I like to do. Oh, back up going to push this down onto the tape. No, 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 no. There we go. Look how cool that stuff is. So I will go. That's cool on the back side too. Yeah, it's super bright. Green. bright. <laughs> I'm just gonna fold it right in half. So it lines up, look, square on the dot, on the line. Okay. And I'm sure this is not straight. Some people put them on the front. Some people put them on the sides. I guess it depends on your preference. So I'm just gonna do it this way. So I've got that steady. All I have to do is find my top and my bottom and I'm doing this upside down so it's a little awkward. Is that even straight, Joanne? <laughs> mm, I'm Good enough. Fun, I think <laughs> it'll work. <laughs> You're doing this by yourself, it's probably easier. Yeah, line it up a little better. Uh, it's gonna be good. Yeah, okay. when, you're, when you're at home doing it on your... <laughs> Oh, um, line it up a little better. <laughs> yeah, you'll, you'll see a lot better looking directly on it. So this is called the hinge method. Then you just turn that over. And watch your little pieces, especially your eyes. Watch your eyes. And then at that point, just drop it down. And I may have, oh, okay, I did get it. And then just give it a good burnishing. So it's super, it's so simple. And um, the comment just came up, I find cleaning the mug first, it sticks better. Yes. Definitely. Yes, clean the mugs. Um, just with soapy water, just make sure they're dry beforehand. But look how easy this comes off. So I prefer the paper transfer tape. I was saying this before, but I don't think I finished my sentence. It's more pliable. It's thinner. It's going to go on a lot easier. So look how easy that was. And then you just take these little guys off because it's not permanent yet. So easy peasy. Okay, next one. <laughs> so then we're getting into the curved ones. These are pretty much the same. I mean, this has got a little bit of a square edging to it, but the concept, concept, concept still applies that it's got, a, I don't even know what they call it, convex contour, something fancy like that. It goes both ways. So when you go to put your vinyl on, your vinyl's flat, it's gonna wanna like warp weird. So we're gonna try that. There's a couple questions that come came up. Um, will this work for ornaments as well? And I think when you explain this next mug, I'll have to explain it. And then love that vinyl. How do you make it permanent? The vinyl is already permanent, so it's water resistant. So it's designed to go outdoors and you can put it in your dishwasher, um, but we still recommend washing it by hand. It just prolongs the life of your vinyl. What do you do, what do, you do oh. to it to make it permanent? What's let it set for how long? Yeah, so 24 to 48 hours for it to fully cure. Some people put, like you see the tumblers going around, Some people, there are edible, or edible, <laughs> food safe. There's, um, there's not edible epoxies. <laughs> Live. <laughs> there are non-edible epoxies, but they're food safe. So you could seal it with that, but just for it to bond 24 to 48 hours, you're good. So I would do that before washing it. Wash it beforehand, put your vinyl on, let it sit for a couple days and then gift it, wrap it, use it yourself, whatever you want. So, okay, so for this one, I'm gonna talk about, we saw the opal, the glitter adhesive that we have is a cast vinyl, meaning that it will warp a little better. I'm not gonna go into the big explanation as to the difference between a calendar and a cast. Um, you can look it up and get a little more information on that, but basically casts are, more pliable. They'll move around shapes a lot easier than like the opal. It's pretty stiff. It's not going to move. You try to put it on a curved surface that's really curved. It's going to want to bubble and like move back to its shape. So 
I'm gonna put the trans tape on this one again. I should use trans tape all these. Once again, still gonna use the paper trans tape. You can use the clear, because I mean, it's clear. You can see through it, but it's a little bit stiffer. So for the smooth mug, it'd be totally fine. I mean, you have no curves at all, but for curved mugs, I would definitely use the tape. The paper, goodness. <laughs> Any questions so far? Has no one ever, has no one ever done a mug because they've been afraid to? They're super easy to do. It's just the tips and tricks that you need to do. And they're, and they're easy. Okay, so same thing. Oh, I keep going back and forth. I'm going to burnish the vinyl to my tape. It just makes it lift a little easier. Okay, really quick. Susan's asking the transfer tape that you used. Starla's using the paper transfer tape. And as soon as we're done, we'll put links up to that. And this was the opal, what color again? Bright green. And Bright it's green. new. Actually, yeah. the whole opal line is what we've had for like a month. Yeah, it's a new one out there. So that was a fun one. We will put links up to that as well. Okay, so this is gonna be a little tricky doing it upside down, so. And paper transfer tape is not better than clear. It just, it's personal preference what you wanna use. Yeah, you sorry, I should say it's personal preference. Yeah. I prefer the paper when I'm doing this. But a lot of people like the, the clear. clear so you can see, yeah. yeah. But like when I do one layer, I don't really need to line anything up. That's when I use the paper. Okay, so we're gonna do the same technique. I've got my middle, but this time I'm going to just go down from the middle and see how it's already like warping. I'm gonna turn it and you kind of have to just kind of let it do its thing. What I do is just kind of work your way out. You can, this isn't the best one to use for like cutting it up and stuff like that. Just, oh, I'm totally gonna mess this up. <laughs> so just kind of let it fall and then kind of work out any bubbles. If it ripples where this is, a, it's not a solid shape, but there's no breaks. So it's gonna ripple. This will probably be fine and it's smaller. So just work your way out. And then, see this right here? This is already starting to bubble. So I know it's not gonna be smooth. So what I do is I just take this portion off, leave some of it down. I just wanna expose, oh, can you even see that? See how it's not wanting to move? I This portion right here, that's on the biggest portion, the biggest side of the mug is down pretty well already. I'm just gonna take my tape off. So it's still holding on. And then taking your weeding tool or your knife. Whew, and try not to use your fingers as much as possible. You kinda have to be careful with little lines like this because they, they just don't wanna warp how they need to. So watch what's gonna happen when I do it by hand. It's gonna warp. And then it's messed up. So, just be mindful that if you have shapes like that on curved surfaces, I maybe wouldn't do this frame area. I would just do the phrase. So let me go through and finish the other side. So I mean, there is a little bit of trick. Some images just aren't going to work on certain shapes, but the witch's brew part, it's fine. Because there are, whoops, there are gaps. See how well that went on? This, not so much. It's a set shape and it won't work. So I just wouldn't even do something like that. You can, but it's totally up to like, I don't know, what's the word, Joanne? It depends on the shape, it depends on the image. Mm -hmm. So if something doesn't work or you think, oh, maybe I just don't wanna mess with that, just do the wording. It doesn't need any fancy frames, it's fine. Especially on that one where it gets smaller towards the bottom. That's right. why it was not working. Yeah. And so that was with the glitter, this was with the cast. So it, it tried, it did pretty well, but that frame just not gonna work. So this is basically the same, it's got more of a square, but we're gonna try the opal again, just so you guys can see that. This is not a cast. So I'm betting it won't warp around those curves like, like the glitter will, but we'll try it. It's, it's, it's fairly thick. It's not super thick, but it's thicker, thicker 
than like the permanent Series 51 or Oracle 651, which you can also use. But it still works great. It just yeah. depends on the shape you use. That will still work great on mugs. And the words might be fine on this. You might just not want to use that frame. I forgot to burnish it again. So let's just try, just for experimental sake. We're just gonna take the whole thing off. Flatten it out. Ooh. Okay, find your center. And work your way out. This would be the same concept with an ornament. See, it's not doing too bad, but once again, my frame is not doing so hot. This one's actually doing pretty good. And I mean, you could also design this, I should say this, this is fairly big for this mug. If you kind of kept it, oh, it's not doing so hot. If you kind of kept it within this area, you'd have an easier time because it doesn't curve down the other way. So it didn't do too bad. What do you guys think? I would definitely take the border off though. So. Yeah, and there's a couple yeah. questions about putting it in the dishwasher. Um, you can put it in the dishwasher. I always tell people to put it on the top rack um, just cause the bottom rack and I should say most dishwashers. A lot of dishwashers, that's where all the heat comes from. So top rack. And it's okay, I mean, it's like laundry. You forget, you throw it in there, don't even think about it. I've done that before and it's been fine. But hand washing is always recommended. It's just gonna prolong the life of the vinyl. So let's look at these two. So they both did good. They have about the same contours on the mug. That one I just royally messed up. But if you wanna do a non-cast, so like a calendar, which would be the 651, 51, basically everything that we have except for the glitter, um, do a smaller image and it'd probably be fine. Or just do a smooth cup. Okay, so that's basically the gist of that. But when it comes to bigger cups like this, this is quite the curve. I mean, that's a big one. So let me show up with the pillow back so you can see it better. That is a huge curve. So my tips for this, because this is already going to be too big. I know it's going to warp because that one did. So the bigger one's going to do too. Make it smaller. I'd stay within about the smooth portion. Or if you have to do a lot of it, if you have words that are just curved, you can get away with cutting them apart or cutting around it so you don't have so much tape warping around your cup. But anytime you have solid shapes, it's going to be harder than open shapes just because they're more pliable. They'll go on a lot easier. They're, they can form a little better. So, did anybody have any questions so far? Um, a lot of them we've been answering as we go along. Um, someone wants to know if they need to be sealed with epoxy. You can. They're, they're permanent without epoxy, but I mean, if you trust the epoxy and you can do the epoxy, the trick with epoxy is you have to continually keep it moving. So keep that in mind. Um, but without it, it's fine. I mean, we've done mugs. I've used, I've done Christmas mugs and stuff and for gifts that I've just put the permanent vinyl on and they still hold up. So they work great. But when I wash them in my dishwasher, like I said, top rack, I don't do the hottest setting either. I just do um, like warm or something or just wash them by hand. It's a lot easier. So that's basically it. I don't know if you have any other questions. So how many out there have done mugs before? Just give us a heart or a thumbs up if you've done a mug before. Or any curved surface like a... Oh, like yeah. Like these. And we're gonna talk about that. So like this one's curved both ways. So mm -hmm. doing a simple font, not block, it's gonna conform to a lot better. This one though, so Joanne did this one. I'm assuming you did this because it says Smith Reunion. Yeah. <laughs> So this shape is so square and straight. This is the knockout effect. Um, and we've got videos on how to do that. But you, this would be really hard to do on a curved mug because you have to get them lined up. Anytime you hit a curve, you're messing with the alignment of the vinyl. So if you wanna do that on a curved mug, maybe make it smaller. 
or just do it on a flat mug if you want it bigger. So anything like that, it there are rules and you know stuff like that. Um, so Nancy's asking what kind of vinyl that is, and I think that one. Oh, that's just um, Series Fifty One. Yeah, it's our it's Expressions Vinyl brand permanent. If that's the one you're asking about. So the only lines really that you need to avoid when doing anything that's going to go outside or come in contact with water, you don't want to use Series 31 or 631. Those ones are both indoor removable. They will come off. Um, you put it on a wall, it'll become permanent within about a year, but anything that's going to be washed, it will come off. So Yeah, um, and um, someone just asked, I always use 651. What else do you recommend? So basically... Yeah, Anything those, that we carry except for those yeah. two lines. The, the, the glitter is the cast. We've got polish. We've got, oh, well, we've got a bunch of pattern. Pattern is permanent, so you could use the patterns on it. Um, just 631 and Series 31 are indoor removable, so I wouldn't use those. Um, this vinyl again. Which one is this one? It is from the Opal line, and it's bright green. And you haven't seen the Opals? Get them on your order. They are super cool. I don't know. Do you have a sample kit of the Opal? You just show it while people are asking questions. It is super, it is super tricky on your eyes. So it is this one. But like, look at all these super fun colors. And I mean, they, I don't, I mean, I don't even know how you guys can see the colors. Cause like this one is white, but to me it looks blue in the right light. This one looks orange. I mean, there's one that looks green, but it's like blue, the blue looks purple mm -hmm. so pretty. yeah these are super fun and they look super pretty on mugs and tumblers and stuff like that they're a super fun line um but the glitter line is just the ultra line or we have caesar's psv glitter i was well. just gonna say that someone asked if we carried psv and we yes. do um in the solid colors and the glitter mm -hmm. um where's a good spot to get mugs and cups oh that's a good question Dollar store? <laughs> dollar store, dollar store, Amazon. Yeah. Um, Walmart has some good ones this time of year. I mean, you can get pattern ones that are like fall all over them. They'd be kind of fun. Um, most of the dollar stores where you get ours. Lots of places sell mugs. Um, Bed Bath & Beyond, Target. There's all sorts of fun places to get mugs or tumblers or water bottles. There's um, lots of questions about vinyl not sticking, and I think one of the key things to it is making sure it's clean. Yeah, you always wanna clean it. We didn't clean these just because we're just doing the video, but you always wanna clean it off um, so it sticks correctly. I don't think we have any other, any other. Does anybody do any tips or tricks that we didn't show? Because I mean, that's really all it is. They're super simple to do. Get your permanent vinyl your transfer tape, clear or paper, your preference, and then just use tips and tricks and you'll get them on there. So it is kind of experimental along the way. Some fonts might not stick as well. Though that's what I was gonna talk about. Little fonts that are super tiny, if you're wanting to do a lot of detail that's really tiny, it'll go on great, but keep in mind, it doesn't have the surface area. It might come off faster than something that's bold. So just keep that in mind, um, that might, change your design a little bit but as you can see phrases work a lot better than shapes <laughs> so anything else we'll do the coupon one more time so if you didn't see this at the beginning we have our awesome offer going on right now for $20 off when you spend $60 or more and that's pre-tax in the storefront and before shipping online so this is both online and in the storefront and the code is Halloween 18 so Come in, load up on your opal, get your permanents, get your tape, and you'll get a There's trick or treat. There's a question or a comment about someone wanting to know about your um, <laughs> earrings. Oh, my earrings? The comment came from downstairs, so. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> uh, <laughs> these are my earrings. Um, this is just on leather. I just, there's better leather. Better leather? <laughs> They're better leather? <laughs> Um, you can use it on Cricut leather. I just got leather off of Amazon that actually had patterns already on it, but it worked in the silhouette. So um, I just cut it and ironed it on both sides and it's heat transfer. So actually, let me show you. So one side is the rough side, so it looks a little texture. I think that's the smooth side actually. So this is the rough side. So, but just do it on either side and you've got 
earrings. And these are super popular right now, the drop earrings. And we have so many fun patterns. So many fun patterns, um, which are also from Nick. I said that before, but go get your patterns too. Um, yeah, any other questions? I think we've got them all. And if we didn't answer them, we promise to answer them Some on the comments. <laughs> and I mean, if you have any other, if you guys have ideas for Will It Stick Wednesdays and Final Fridays, we like ideas. Yeah. Because we don't know what everybody wants to see and maybe we've done it before, that's okay. We've done this before. Um, we do have videos, if anybody wants to see the ornament one. We do have it on. <laughs> We're laughing because you have to go watch the video. It's good. <laughs> there's an ornament one that's Jessica did that's really good. And there's one that I did. It, I'm Joanne behind the camera. Thanks. And mine's kind of funny. If you saw it last year, I'm just curious. I'm not going to say what happened. But if you saw it last year with me doing an ornament on a Facebook Live, just put a heart right now or put a surprise face because you'll know what happened. It was kind of funny. Um, I'm just curious if anybody saw it. <laughs> I did. Besides the people that work here. It was good. But you can do it on ornaments. You can do it on mugs. I'm trying to think if there's anything else people have done on curved surfaces. Bowls. Um, I don't know. What else do people do curved surfaces on? You can do it. I mean. Can you use heat vinyl on wood? Yes. yes. That's a good one we can show. I don't know that we've really showed that one on a live. No. We'll probably show that. haven't really. No. No, but you can. Yeah. Um, glitter is amazing on wood. It's oh, there's a few people that saw. <laughs> Did it that shock you day. as much as it shocked everyone else? <laughs> you have to go watch it. It's a good video. But it explains what? it, and I came back and finished the rest of it after, you it was, know, it my good. heart quit beating. And <laughs> But we'll post that in the comments so that you can see um, another way to, to put vinyl on ornaments as well. Yeah. Because really when it comes to curved surfaces, I've decided it's all tips and tricks and everybody has different methods, but you can do it. Just use permanent and you're good to go. So thanks for watching everybody. Go use your coupon code Halloween18, get your order in and you will be tricked or treated until Wednesday at midnight. So, and have a great Halloween everybody. Bye.